Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Range, and as usual I've been followed back from Finland by some cool Varistalika own brand kit. This time it's the uh, Sarma Merino hoodie. I've got it in yellow because it's a cool colour. They sort of decided that uh, they'd depart from the usual uh, other colours of black, dark grey and green and do a batch of yellow ones in what they call Kill Bill Yellow after uh, the tracksuit that uh, the lady protagonist in the film um, wore and they flew off the shelves. They sold out really really quickly and uh, they restocked and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a stock item now, you can get it. Now it's 78% uh, Merino, which is cruelty-free Merino, 90% viscose and 3% elastane. It is not itchy in the slightest. Um, it's quite thick and actually pretty dense, um, slightly stretchy because of the elastane. Um, I've basically been wearing it constantly since I got home and at some point it's going to have to go in the wash and luckily it is machine washable so uh, it's not like you're going to have to do it all by hand or anything. Now sizings wise I am 180 centimeters which is um, about 5 foot 11 tall. I've got a 42 inch chest about 100 centimeters or so. If I've got that conversion wrong in my head I'm sorry. Suck it up. Um, this is a large long. The sleeves are long because they are sort of semi-mitts and uh, you can roll them back and that's how I've tended to, uh, to have them. Obviously it's a hoodie so it has a hood, draw cord, nice and warm around the neck. Um, a lot of people have been wearing this, and basically everybody, practically everybody in the offices of Astralica wears them. Ian of Forgotten Weapons has one, and I had to get one. I uh, got one for the missus as well, who has also been wearing it constantly. Now, uh, I decided to go for it slightly looser, a medium fit as well, but was a bit slim. It was, it was fine with the shirt on, but I thought, well, I really want something that I can potentially put a, um, put a sweater on underneath, so I went for large, but I'm sort of between sizes there. Now, the really interesting thing about this is the pockets and how many there are and how clever they are. And firstly, on the outside, we have a pocket that's big enough for a, a big phone with a Velcro so we can have our very appropriate finished patches on there. There's a couple of big hand warmer pockets that are extremely large and uh, on the inside they've done something and I don't understand why this isn't done more often because what they've done is they've stitched the pockets so that they are poachers pockets and then at the back there's a kangaroo pocket that goes all the way through. Now it wouldn't be me if we didn't do some sort of test on this and uh, according to Yari, the CEO of Varistalika, the sort of standard finish measure for carrying capacity is the Gambina bottle. And we don't have such classy drinks in Switzerland, so first of all I have a bottle of Bernese wine, which we will drop in here, and it completely disappears into the poacher's pocket, just to give you an idea of quite how large and deep these are, obviously with the weight it sags down because it's elasticated, it's, it's, it's knitted. Um, that's about the same size as a Gambina bottle, but less classy. For Dale, our friend Dale, we have to check it with a carrot. We end up about there. I mean, it's probably a bit too small for that, but um, in any case, I thought that a more universal measure of carrying capacity would be AK and AR mags. And the reason why AK and AR is because I'm not convinced I've got enough AR mags to do everything. So what I'm going to do is fill up this side with AK mags, this side with AR mags, and I think we'll ignore the back. We might just see what we've got left over and just stuff them, stuff them down, the, down the back in the uh, reverse kangaroo pouch and see what happens. And by having AK and AR mags, we're not discriminating, I know that some people are AK guys, some people are AR guys, they're gonna have different uh, feelings for this. These are curvy, these are 30s, 30 AR mags, and they are straighter. So let's just get right in, and I've got seven of these. Two, three, 
four easily. I'm going to run out. Now, obviously, because the inside pocket is sort of integrated with the outside pocket, they do interact a bit. Yeah. There we go. Four in the poacher's pocket, three in the outside. Let's go for some AR mags. Eight, I could probably squeeze some more in there if I try. Next, and 11. I think that'll do, but the surprising thing, is that in here, we can get, oh, that's a crappy RG one. We should be able to get two in here. So, faintly ridiculous, I must say, but that just gives you an idea of how massive the carrying capacity just on the front of this is, and now I'm looking magazine pregnant. Um, across the back, she let's just stick, a, stick the carrot across. Whoop. He says. Now, in reality, you're not going to do this. This is just me being an idiot, as usual. And uh, what I did find um, wearing it in the, in the airplane was that the, uh, the pockets are a good size, whether the front or the back, for documentation of your passport. Or I have my European Firearms Pass, which is a, an A6 booklet in a, in a little sleeve. Um, and it was very handy for that. And frankly, it's just an amazing bit of kit. Now, because it is Merino, it does come at a bit of a price, and for those outside of the EU, it's 104 euros 99 cents. For those inside the EU with VAT, it's 129.99 euros again. But it's worth it. I mean, this is a, this is modern technical merino wool blend, 78% merino wool. Um, has a, I mean, it's cruelty-free merino wool. There's a no mulesing involved, so uh, it is ethical merino wool. It's basically a superb bit of kit and I thoroughly recommend it. And uh, I think at some point I'm gonna to have to peel it off my body and put it in the wash. So anyway, link in the description below of where to acquire these. Varsalika are great guys and uh, deserve all our custom. Um, I suspect I should be buying one of these for, or two of these for my parents for presents during the year. Um, and uh, yeah, basically great kit guys. They're great to work with. Um, had a lot of fun in uh, the plan B of Finnish Brutality 2021 Winter War. So thank you to them for organizing that. Thank you to Sarko for sponsoring that. And uh, onwards and upwards. So see you later. Bye.